Hi, I'm Thorsten from Tier Systems and in this video I want to explain you how you can generate dynamic watermarks for Photomate. So first let me show you what I mean by dynamic. Um, let's open up two pictures here which are a little bit different, especially in terms of the aspect ratio because this is a portrait image and on the right obviously this is a landscape image. So my watermark is the rule frame and the text around this image. But as you can see on both images the frame looks basically exactly the same, it's not stretched, it just looks like it was drawn completely around the image. So I will show you how you can generate your own watermark like that. Um, please note that you need Photomate 11.1 or a later version, otherwise you won't have the features for that. So I will use Photoshop here, but you can use any other editing software. First I will generate a new image with um, a width and height of a uh, thousand pixels, so basically a square image. Um, now I have my empty image and I just generate a border and I use just a, the shape tool for that. Um, and So now I generate my shape, as you can see here is my shape, now I will obviously don't want to see the inner part of the shape, so I turn down the opacity and just make a stroke here, um, maybe like that, okay, and I want to have it white, so I just save it, and now I rasterize my layer style, so now you can see it's just the line here, okay, so maybe I want make uh, add a little bit of shadow here, um, you can of course design it like however you want, I will just make some example here. Okay, so I need to get a background, maybe I make the background a little bit, um, yeah, black is okay, so I need to see a little bit more here. Um, now I add my text here, um, just write my copyright, um, I don't need the text that big, so I just want to have a small text here. Okay, now I put it into my frame, maybe that position. So now I make my frame opacity, so I basically just delete the layer at this position. Um, okay, now I just copy my shadow style from the border and um, where it, here we go. Um, insert it on my text. So now I'm already done. So the most important part is that Photomate needs the information where it can stretch the image. So of course we want to stretch the image like maybe maybe somewhere here and here. So it can basically uh, take this part and stretch this part and then put this part on the right back to the image. So it's very easy to say that, uh, to, to, to configure that um, just make one pixel in solid black on the very first line each on the left and on the top so I will just make one by one um, okay, I don't know is it one by one uh, just make a new layer first so I can draw on that one um, I will modify uh, I will transform my selection first so okay this make it one pixel and one pixel okay so save that um, okay yeah now I would stretch this section which is okay because this one can be stretched so I just fill this pixel with solid black okay so now I move that and do the same for the left so maybe I can yeah I can just stretch the image here so I just set this pixel to black. Photomate will clip the very first uh, line on the top and on the left so you won't see these pixels in your final watermark. Please make sure that everything else in the first line is transparent otherwise it won't work. So yeah that's basically my watermark image. So now I save this file to yeah anywhere on my PC or Dropbox or whatever 
um, as a PNG file with transparency, of course. Um, yeah, I will just uh, save it now here and I will just call it uh, watermark frame um, and save this. So, yeah. Now let's move on to the tablet. So now I have opened Photomate and I go to menu and preferences, um, switch to the watermark section and first I will select the watermark. So I just copied it via network, you can also copy it via Dropbox or any other file sharing solution. Um, I put it under my pictures folder and here is my watermark frame. I select that. So now I switch to watermark position. So obviously I want to have the wool size. So I need to put width and height both to the full and left and top. I can basically just turn to the left. It, it doesn't matter if you have the full size. So I save this settings. Um, I remove the checkbox here because I don't want to keep the aspect ratio. The, the image, uh, the watermark should always be stretched. And now it's very important to select that my watermark is such a dynamic image um, which we created just now. So that's basically all. Now I can go back um, and just to test it, I open up any image. Maybe just take that one um, and save this. Um, Okay, just say render watermark, um, maybe choose my size to, I don't know, 2000 pixels. Um, now I'm saving that file and you can see that my watermark is correctly stretched and you can see that here my watermark is probably aligned. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this new feature and um, you can find some watermark template files uh, below the video or in the description wherever you are watching it right now. Um, yeah, and have fun using Photomate.